Welcome to Cake Desktop's video tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to utilize the new expense tab. Let's start by logging into our facility and go into the expense tab. The purpose of the expense tab is to allow you to keep track of your facility's expenses like utilities, maintenance, groceries, and payroll. As you can see, I have a list of expenses made by the facility, and a total amount is shown here. You can see the due date, pay date, type, and to which vendor, and if there are any additional notes. Also, if you would like to filter out your expenses, you can. You can choose to view all unpaid or paid expenses, or both, by choosing a payment status here. You can filter out your expenses by date range, also by type and vendor. After you have set that, click View Data, and the list will be adjusted along with the total amount. Let's go ahead and add a payment by clicking the Add button below. Select the date the expense was due or issued. Select the type. To add more types, you can simply click on the Add button here and then click Save. Now let's select the vendor. You can add a vendor by clicking the plus button here and saving afterwards. Put in the amount. As you can see here, I have a $300 bill that needs to be paid for utilities for Cake Electrics. In this notes section, you can put in the relevant information like the month this utility was supposed to cover, a check number, or payment confirmation code. Also put if the amount has been paid yet, and if so, put in the pay date and save. Lastly and most importantly, the expense tab is great at keeping track of payroll. Let's go ahead and click add. Select the date and select payroll for the type. And for the vendor, let's go ahead and click the plus sign. Click on the browse staff and select the staff member that is going to be paid. As you can see, the staff's contact information is listed here. Let's go ahead and put in an amount of $385. Now in the notes section, we can add how much our staff member is getting paid an hour, which is $10 an hour. Then multiply by how many hours, in this case she worked 40 hours, and then subtracting the tax of $25, resulting in $385. This of course is just an example. Lastly, let's select that we have not paid the staff member yet, and then save. As you can see with the expense tab, you can keep track of all of your facility's expenses and the ones you have paid for, and the ones you have not. This concludes our overview of the expense tab. We would like to thank you for watching our video tutorials and we hope this video helps. Cake, it's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.